Hey, what's up guys, your boy Stu Dog back today with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the scuff hair triggers, okay? As you can see, I have hair triggers for both of these right here. So I'm gonna be talking about the best adjustments for them and what they actually do. So, you know, regular controllers, they don't have any hair triggers, it's just, you know, regular. Hair triggers is like, mm, the best I can explain it is, it's something to where you don't have to click as hard and it clicks in a shorter amount of time. So say you're in a gunfight and somebody's on the other side, all you have to do is tap and it taps quicker. I recommend having your hair triggers just enough to where you can just shoot because if you do it too tight you won't be able to shoot or build or any of that so do it tighten it just enough to where it's right next to not being able to shoot so that's what i did so literally like the second that i click my trigger i just it just instantly it just instantly so right here i'm gonna place a wall see literally the second i press it but with a you know with a regular controller it might seem like it's right away, but it's really not. So having hair triggers is definitely uh, the move if you get a scuff. So yeah. Um, so just get the adjustment to where it's like just enough to where it doesn't build or shoot. So just get it like right in between there. You just gotta work with it a little bit, but yeah. 